When confronted with the question, does God or do gods exist, what answer comes to your mind? Depending on your answer, you'll likely be able to categorize yourself with one of these following positions of belief. Theist, deist, or atheist. Furthermore, you'll be able to add on top of that position of belief a position of knowledge. There are two positions of knowledge which are going to be discussed here, being Gnostic or being agnostic. The most important thing to know is that the default atheist position is actually not a belief at all. It's a lack of belief. Obviously this means that atheists don't have a belief in any gods. This does not imply that atheists believe no gods exist. I know that this might sound confusing, but let me illustrate this concept more clearly. Suppose someone told you that a god exists. There are a few relevant positions to take on this claim. Positions of belief or disbelief. 1. I believe that this god exists. 2. I'm unconvinced that this god exists. 3. I believe that this god does not exist. Both the first and third examples express explicit beliefs. However, the second position did not accept the person's claim that God exists, thus lacking a positive belief about the God claim. We call this disbelief. The example may further be amplified by a position of knowledge. 1. I know that your God exists. 2. I don't know that your God exists, but I highly doubt your claim. 3. I know that your God does not exist. Now, both the first and third positions are making claims to knowledge. Atheists generally consider either of these claims with respect to the existence of gods intellectually dishonest. It's important to understand that positions of belief or disbelief are in a different category than positions of knowledge. Let me say that again, since it's important. Positions of belief or disbelief are in a different category than positions of knowledge. The aim of this video is to help you decide where you fall on the spectrum. I will define the words dealing with a position of belief and disbelief first, theism, deism, and atheism, and then with a position of knowledge second, gnostic and agnostic. You will then be able to combine A plus B together to understand your precise position on the existence of a god or gods. Now, let's look at the positions of belief or disbelief. Theism, the belief in one or more gods as the creator and ruler of the universe, without rejection of revelation. In general, a theist believes that a god or gods created the universe and everything in it, that these gods or god is supernatural and that it interacts with our world. Theists believe that praying to their god or gods can bring change to our world, and that participating in religious rituals may bring about some kind of enlightenment, fellowship, or relationship with this god or gods. Theists generally believe in some sort of afterlife, and also in revelation through a prophet or person who is chosen by a god or gods to deliver a divine message. Examples of theisms range from Baha'i, Tao Dai, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Mormonism, Roman Paganism, Sikhism, among many others. Rarely does a theist refer to him or herself as a theist. Since there are so many kinds of theists, they usually refer to themselves according to their specific religion, such as Hindu, Jew, Mormon, etc. Deism Rejecting the idea of supernatural revelation, deism is the belief in the existence of a higher power, or God, which created the universe, but which has since remained indifferent to it. So perhaps you've heard of the word deism before. Deism is different from theism, but they sure do sound the same. Actually, deism is a sort of midway point between theism and atheism. You could even say that a deist is a little bit atheist, since they are not 
theists. You could also say that they are a little bit theist, since they believe in a higher power, but not necessarily always a god or gods. So what's the difference between theism and deism? Theism is a belief that there is a god or gods who are participants in our universe, and deism is a belief that there is or was a god or gods who created the universe, but has since stopped participating in it. A theist thinks that their god or gods care about humans, interact with us, listen to our prayers, bring about revelation, and affect events in our universe. However, a deist thinks that there is simply just a higher power, an unknowable supreme being that doesn't really care about humans, which does not interact with us, does not listen to our prayers, and does not bring about revelation, and has no effect on our universe other than having created it in the first place. So basically, a deist is someone who believes in a god or higher power, but doesn't necessarily subscribe to the claims of organized religion or the world's various theisms. Deists often say, I believe there is something out there, but I do not believe that we will ever know what it is. Atheism, the disbelief in the existence of a god or gods. Atheism is simply a lack of belief in a god or gods. To first understand what atheism is, you have to understand firstly that the A in atheism means not. So essentially, the word is telling you what it is not. So atheism means not theism. Unlike theism or deism, it is not a position of positive belief, but a position of disbelief. Atheists have simply not been persuaded by the evidence, or lack thereof, of any god or gods. Therefore, since the burden of proof is on the person making the claim, atheists remain in disbelief until evidence is provided. Let's look now at the positions of knowledge. Gnostic. A position of knowledge where one claims to absolutely know something. A Gnostic theist claims, I know there is a god. A Gnostic atheist claims, I know there are no gods. A Gnostic deist claims, I know there is something out there. A Gnostic person is someone who claims to know the absolute truth concerning the question of the existence of God or gods. For example, a Gnostic Christian knows that Jesus is a divine being. A Gnostic Mormon knows that Jesus is one of countless divine beings. A Gnostic Jew knows that Jesus is not a divine being. A Gnostic Muslim knows that Allah is the only divine being. A Gnostic claims to know firmly, with absolute certainty, unwaveringly, not open to being convinced otherwise, that they know the truth. Generally speaking, theists are usually expected to be Gnostic, since the idea of claiming to know something not with evidence, but by faith, is the underlying concept at the heart of many theisms. And how faithful one remains in absence of evidence or even contradictory evidence often is viewed as an admirable trait, rather than as a delusion. Most atheists would probably concede that it is logically impossible to test something which is considered supernatural in our natural world. Therefore, many atheists might say that they are agnostic when it comes to the idea of a deist god, an unknowable higher power, which has merely created the universe, and who has no continuous interaction with our universe. Most atheists would probably consider themselves Gnostic atheists when it comes to the various theistic gods. This is because theist religions claim that their god or gods have some kind of interaction with our universe, such as responding to prayer. Since this supernatural interaction is claimed to have an effect on the natural world, it could therefore conceivably be scientifically tested. Unfortunately, in every case, the test shows no evidence for supernatural interaction with our world from a god or gods, or is not actually testable through the rigorous and skeptical process of science. In any case, science points away from the existence of such gods. 
Therefore, many atheists are quite certain that these particular conceptions of gods, who talk to people, who create miracles to help small tribes loyal to them, who tell religious leaders what is moral or immoral, who appoint kings or queens, who talk to terrorists, or who strike down bad people with a thunderbolt of lightning, do not exist. Remember, being Gnostic means that you are 100% certain that you have the facts and that you know what you know with absolute certainty. Gnostic individuals believe there is no possibility that they are wrong. Even Richard Dawkins states that he is an agnostic atheist in his book The God Delusion, when he writes about his position on the existence of God. I cannot know for certain, but I think God is very improbable, and I live my life on the assumption that he is not there. Dawkins still claims to not really know with absolute certainty, but he views the likelihood of a god, such as Allah, existing with the same probability that invisible fairies live in his garden. A very low probability, but still just a bit above zero. So if presented with very good scientific evidence of a god or gods, even a staunch atheist such as Richard Dawkins, himself a good scientist totally open to good evidence, could be swayed. Agnostic. A position of knowledge where one claims to not know something with absolute certainty. Now, the word agnostic is a bit similar to the word atheist, in the sense that the word is not so much describing what it is, but what it isn't. Again, the A in agnostic means not. So agnostic means not gnostic. So, with being agnostic, one claims not to know the answer to the question, does a god or god exist, with 100% certainty. Although being agnostic is a position of knowledge, some people mistakenly interchange it with a position of belief or disbelief. This might be because they haven't really thought about their position of belief or disbelief yet. Or perhaps they have not come to a decision yet, and perhaps never will. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't believe in a god or gods, but accept the possibility if provided good evidence, then you are still an atheist. But if you don't want to label yourself atheist, you could just say you're undecided in your beliefs. Typically, I find that most people who simply claim to be agnostic are generally agnostic deists. Let's look at the examples below to review. 1. Gnostic Theist I know there is a god. 2. Agnostic Theist I won't pretend to know, but I believe there is a god. Number 3. Gnostic Deist I know there is some higher power. 4. Agnostic Deist I won't pretend to know there is a higher power but I believe there is a higher power. Number 5. Agnostic Atheist I won't pretend to know there isn't a god, but I lack belief in a god. 6. Gnostic Atheist I know there are no gods. Chances are, some people will occupy a space between these positions, or move from position to position. Perhaps there are other positions not described here, but they are the main positions when it comes to the question of whether God exists or not. So, in review. Gnostic. Claim of knowing with certainty. Agnostic. Claim of not knowing with certainty. Theist. Believes in a god or gods who knowingly interacts with our world. Deist. Believes in some sort of higher power who does not interact with our world. Atheist does not believe in a god or gods. So what are you? Gnostic theist believes there is a god or gods and claims to know this for certain. Agnostic theist believes there is a god or gods but does not claim to know for certain. Gnostic deist believes there is a higher power and claims to know this for certain. Agnostic deist believes there is a higher power but does not claim to know this for certain. Agnostic atheist disbelieves in a god, but does not claim to know for certain. Gnostic atheist disbelieves in a god and claims to know this for certain. 
I'll be making more videos in the future, and they'll relate to this one. For now, I hope I have helped you learn a bit about the three positions of belief – theism, deism, atheism, along with the two positions of knowledge, gnostic or agnostic. Through combining these two positions, you can now be more certain about your overall position on the existence of a god or gods. Now, it seems to me that you're rather ambivalent here that you say, you, you redefine atheism to mean a sort of atheism or non-theism. That's what it means. Uh, um, there's, no, there's no claim I know how to make that says atheism is true because atheism is the statement that a certain proposition isn't true. So uh, I wish you'd get this bit right, as I said. It, it's, a, it is not in itself a belief or a system, and that no one who wants you to worship a god has ever been able to come up with a good enough reason to make you do it. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you affirm God does not I think exist, once, or I think, do you simply I think once, I, I, think once I have said that I've never seen any persuasive evidence for the existence of something, and I've made real attempts to study the evidence presented and the arguments presented, that I will, I will go as far as to say, have the nerve to say, uh, that it does not therefore exist. Thank you.